Ben, uh, can I be one of the first to officially welcome you to Wraith TV and Wraith Rovers? Um, this is your, you've had two training sessions already yeah, uh, yeah. with the club. How have they gone, first and foremost? Uh, it was class yesterday, I just getting in meeting the boys, but I already know a few of them because I went to Broughton High School. Right. Like you're and Anna, it's now in Queen Coulson because I moved to Queen Anne, so it was good meeting up, meeting up with them all again. It was a good session as well, so yeah. wasn't to get here. Yeah, and after two sessions, um, I mean, you know some of the guys uh, and the rest of them that you've never met before. Um, a decent bunch to work with? Great bunch of lads, aye. We can tell that they like to have a laugh, but when you need to be serious, it's good. And got a good session today as well. Got a 11 aside game under my belt, so it's good to get involved. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, you're contracted to Rangers for another two seasons. Yeah. Um, but uh, but you're, you're from Fife originally. Uh, just tell me a little bit about your background, where you went to school and so on. So I went to Blair Hall Primary. primary. That's just outside Oakley. Mm. But I've been brought up in Oakley all my life and I went to Broughton High School for football. And then uh, it was too much travelling getting to Edinburgh and then to Glasgow. I was, I was starting the day at like half six and getting in at like half ten at night. It was mad. So I went to Queen Anne and then played with the Queen Anne school team, got to the Scottish Cup final and I played Dylan Tate oh, yeah. in the Scottish Cup final, but they beat us. So. Yeah. No, she didn't know him yet, though. Right, okay. I, I'm told that in that run to the cup final, um, you were one of the one of the leading players in, in your team, um, but you couldn't quite get it over the line. Uh, did Dylan's team beat you soundly, or was it narrow? To be fair, because uh, Queen Anne was in a football school, so and we played Braithurst, and they were they were they were a strong team. Like you had boys from Motherwell all over, so kind of proud of the Queen Anne team for going that far, because we only we had boys playing. It was not like professional level, it was boys club level, but they stuck at it and it was honestly, it was a good run, like, yeah. enjoyed that. Good, good. And, and and about yourself, obviously, we know that you're a central midfielder. Yeah. Um, what are you going to bring to the Rovers squad and, and the Rovers team on match days? Well, I, c I like to do a bit of both, so I like my tackling, but I also like getting forward, so have the freedom to play, but I also work hard and win tackles and just do my best, honestly. <laughs> That's all <okay. laughs> Okay, yeah, we believe you. I'm sure you will. Yeah, um, you know a lot about the. You know a lot about the championship already, yeah. having uh, played at our both. How is that experience of playing in a, a Dick Campbell team in a tough league? How is that going to help you going forward? I think just like getting. Well, that was my first time being like around like a first team like playing week in week out. So. It kind of made me realise the big step up you need to make between like B team football and first team football. So I'm used to it now, and I had a wee run at Livy as well. So I'm just got to come here and take everything I've learnt into this game and it'd be even better this season, hopefully. Mm, yeah, and I remember last season. I remember you definitely playing against us once up at Gayfield. Aye. When our both. Oh, the windiest day ever. <laughs> well, that could be any day at Arbroath. Oh, that's not yeah. um, But um, on that day, you would have played against uh, Ross Matthews, Dylan, um, Dylan yeah, Brad um, Spencer, possibly. Aye, yeah. aye. Um, did you see enough, did you, did you see much in that team that you played against that made you think then, I could fit into this? Well, I remember I played you here as well at Starks Park and... All right. It was closer to the end of the season, mm -hmm. and I've never ran that much in my life. We got balked, like it was like we never touched the ball for a good twenty minutes at a time. So that's the kind that's kind of when I realised like this is a good football inside, and I want to be part of that rather than uh, my like direct ball. So, aye. Ah, okay. And 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 coming into the Rovers from outside, um, what had you heard about the coaching of John McGlynn and Paul Smith? Well, I've I've like I've been talking to loads of boys about it, and he says that I learn the most here like John McGlynn supposedly like everybody's saying like he's a good manager he'll take you under his wing he'll help you but he'll criticise you when you need criticising and that's what I need so aye got you right yeah and and back to yourself and your and your own game obviously I looked at your record at Arbroath and you played 18 games and you scored yeah. one goal is there any aspect of your game that you're looking to improve on here at Wraith Rovers well more goals and more assists that's what I'm going to add to my game so that's what I need to try and do, like get up the pitch more and get more colour passes and scoring goals for outside the box, so that's what I need to add to my game. Uh, and finally, and you talked about learning and developing, yeah. very obviously you're, you're contracted to Rangers for the next two seasons as we said, um, how is the development that you're going to pick up last season at Arbroath and here at Wraith Rovers 
and then in the seasons going on, how is that going to aid you in your further career uh, with Rangers? I think because Rafe's a big team and I think the gaffer will hear more about me being here and playing well, so I just need to get under his nose and add more goals and assists to my game and maybe he'll see my name more coming up and then that just I'll just go with the flow, honestly. I just need to stick to what I've got a day here and prove the fans that I'm a good time in. Got you right. And one more final question and I'll and I'll let you away. Eddie, obviously we've got Sam Stanton to come into the team as well. Yeah. As yourself. Um is it exciting coming into a, a new team, a new squad, playing beside you know, quality midfielders? I as you said, he came in and he's he's got really good experience because he was playing in Ireland, was it? Yeah, yeah. So he's came in and you can tell he's a really good player so just want to get, get playing alongside him and learn stuff off him and hopefully he can learn stuff off me as well. Good. Look forward to seeing it, Ben. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.